site inspections at uh at millions um long day so uh it's about 9 8 30 here in toowoomba um yeah day one on site finished uh be back again in the next day or two to do it all again soon Tuesday morning, checking in for bag life. We are uh, en route to Melbourne Airport on our way to the Gold Coast uh, for the Magic Million sale. Uh, S. Curlio and I and Gab will be uh, doing our best to try and find something at value or some things at value, some horses at value um, for us to race. Uh, most likely favourites, we're just gonna underbid our little guts out, uh, but we'll try our best. We've got a, a detailed pedigree and biomechanical analysis via Racing Squared's Tom Wilson. Um, so I spent the last sort of week and a half going through that, um, nailed it down to a little number, then we put it through a vet. Um, and now we've got like a, a bunch of horses we can go and look at and hopefully um, like enough to try and buy. And we'll just hope that one of them falls to us for a fair price. Um, Curly's done a stack of work last week on site, inspecting them in person, um, focusing on cutest horses. So. Yeah, a few angles, um, just try our best, do what we can, um, live and learn. We, we learned a heap last year, we were very green, uh, anticipate we'll learn an uh, absolute stack this week and meet a lot of new people, so looking forward to it, excited, and um, yeah, bye for now. Day one uh, wrap at the Magics, it's Tuesday the 10th of Jan, um, we looked at a stack, we bid on one horse, no, we didn't even bid. <laughs> We're, we're, we're fucking we're we're like, uh, we'll we're get, mentally we'll, prepared. We to, might pinch this for 120 on it. We're mentally prepared to like bid on a horse and probably spend beyond our means already. Yeah. You can mark it down to see if we're any good. Lot 102, a brutal filly, first season side brutal. We thought, ah, oh, first season side, slip through the cracks. A big raider on Tom Maybe. Wilson stuff, on the racing square stuff which we're using. Yeah. Positioned um, ourselves up there at the ring, sort of got ready to bid. Right. Half an hour probably before we ready, needed to be there, we were there. Should we go to 100 or 120? Oh, 100. Oh, 120. 70, 80, 100, 150. Two, went for 270. Um, that was all she wrote. We missed out there. Um, tomorrow morning, we'll be back early for SEN track with G Hall. Where we're going to raise that we haven't. Um, 830 kick we're off. Raise a bit of support. 830 maybe, kick off. And then we've got, there's, I don't know, there's probably five proper horses tomorrow that we're keen on. Uh, a few of them are coined, uh, three Queensland bred. That we'll be bidding on, but um, we've, Shane, Shane's got a heavy focus on the cutest horses, which is fair enough, and we're going to do our work there. It's pretty easy to do our work because there's a lot of horses. Yeah, look, Tom it's Wilson's very. list has sharpened that a lot. Yeah, and there's some that aren't even worth looking at because they're going to go for 1.2 or 1.3. Yeah, very easy to find the, the ones that have been that have made money today. Like even Hawks found one um, that made Uncle a million Wayne. plus. He might be on the radar. Um, even Kieran found one that was out of loving Gabby. Never heard of them there, but well found. <laughs> Uh, so very easy to find a well-bred uh, nice horse, very hard to find a one at value for the punters and that's what we'll keep trying to do. What's on tonight? Uh, quiet night for me tonight. Blew myself to smithereens Friday night. Uh, today's Tuesday, still recovering a bit. I'll probably keep my powder dry tonight and definitely from tomorrow onwards, rip rip wood chip. I'll buy myself. Pop it. Day two, Magics, uh, it's early. Gareth's got us in here real early. Tried to get us in even earlier, but um, it's hot. 
the sun come up about five o'clock this morning. I just got you still getting used to that. Four thirty. How, how have you found uh, the the magics and how long have you been here? Been here for a couple of days, Dico. A uh, couple of days, Dico. Loving it. It's nice and hot, but it's um, such a wonderful carnival. It's a terrific vibe. Um, I love the vibe. You're a big the vibe man. Bands. I'm a big vibe man. And um, eating clean, you said. Correct. A lot of Japanese, beautiful Japanese restaurants here on the Gold Coast. So hopefully you lads can find a couple of horses at these sales because uh, you're making a lot of money these days. And um, um, hopefully you can help us back a couple of winners too. The boy from Sonata, Shane Curley. <laughs> Thanks, Gareth. Yeah, it's. Oh, uh, now, you can go. put the Hang microphone up. in. Hang on. Yes. This is the story of my day. This. I woke up this morning. I didn't have a hangover. That really rocked me. First time ever <laughs> I've been at Magic Millions and I had a hangover. Out of your comfort zone. Man. I had a hash brown stack for breakfast. Um, no bacon. An egg yep. poached. Um, and a latte. I'm feeling way too fresh, Gareth, and dangerous. All right, then. What's the What's the point of this video, Dicko? Just that we're. <laughs> It's day, it's day two of the Magics. Uh, we're going to be inspecting this morning a stack of cutest horses that yeah. Shane's got on the list that we've got vetted. Nailed that down to about half of what it was by the vet. When are we publishing this video? Whenever you want. Yeah. Right, there's a spirit of boom out of Pimlico girl that we're going to bid on. And, and there's a So You Think Philly that's cutest as well that we're going to bid on. But don't post this until we... What until about, they go through. What about the arrogance telling everyone what horse they're, they're, they're bidding on, um, knowing that you'll beat them? Can't have a taste what's in that water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. All right, then. Um, Jono at the mailbag. Jono, J-O-N-O at the mailbag. Yeah. Dot com dot au if you want to get involved. Love your work, lads. Bye for now. Lunchtime, Wednesday, day two, Magics. Uh, we just spent a fair while preparing ourselves mentally and did every check possible to underbid which we didn't actually even underbid Shane on lot two, three, Well, you nine. have to actually bid to be an underbidder, don't yeah. you? So. Mentally, we were prepared to bid, but it blew past us almost straight away. So, yeah. um, we went to thought so far, Shane, and it's lot 239, went to Tony Gollum, we believe, for 400,000. We were going to get a 150, so well, keep an eye on that horse. Yeah, if you're buying a horse out of Eureka, and it's by uh, Spirit of Boom or out of the Eureka family, and Tony Gollum buys it, you know, it's the best of the one of the best of the bunch, a lot of success, a lot of stakes with that start in that breed, so so be it. So, um, I don't know, so now we thought we'd up the ante and look at a few capitalists and a few other ex more expensive horses, and you know, we'll go to 200 and they'll make four or five. So, yeah, so we've got, we're plan. upbeat though, we haven't had a beer yet, we're not hung over. Um, sort of getting into dangerous territory, really. You're starting to get wobbly mentally, aren't you? No, not at all. Thoughts on Dubious as a stallion? Um, put a horn on a jellyfish. Um, some of the ones I've seen. Um, <laughs> this one at New Haven, I actually take get a video of it, have a look at the size of him. He's like, just he's like that. He's going to go early. Going to be a good two year old for sure. And How does he make you feel, Shane? Um, yeah. I don't know how he makes me feel, but Literally. if I had a share in him, I'd be up and about anyway. Put it that way. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> we're on our way up there now. We're, we're gonna, not. We're going to go bid no on worry. 318. There's no way. I'm going to go 150 on it, at least. Uh, I might go a bit higher. Of course, they're going to try and find someone to help us buy it, because Shane thinks he's going to go for way more. Jack, Jack's I gonna, live in hope. Shane's a pessimist. Jack's going to go and bid on an arrow field horse from book one at Magic Million to go to 150. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to the bar. Righto, we're here with uh, S. Curlio, <laughs> Alligator Blood. The ownership team of... One of the toughest horses that we've seen in recent times in alligator blood. So Gabby, who does a bit of stuff for the mailbag, she was actually the vet nurse that attended to alligator blood's operation. They don't come back from what he went through. We know how, we know how tough he is and what he's done. What interests me the most is how you blokes found the horse. Now, I'll, I'll ask the question, you tell me if this is right or wrong. Pedigree, pedigree evaluation is done? Yeah, that's important. That's, uh, we go for A, A plus or A double plus. Uh, it goes back about 100 years in pedigree, so that's a big tick. And then the next tick, Uncle, on the confirmation. Confirmation, definitely confirmation. Got to have that. So we've got pedigree and confirmation and tick, vet. tick. Vet. Then the vet has to tick it off for you. Yes. What's the final piece of the puzzle? How did you? How do you find horses like Alligator Blood? What's the final thing you do? Uh, well, Alligator Blood just loves Frank Sinatra. Fly <laughs> me to the moon, right? Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring will bring on Jupiter and Mars. 
So the final thing that you do when you're selecting a horse is you sing to it? Absolutely. And if he, uh, if he doesn't like the singing, he gets a, he gets a flick. So, <laughs> so far, lot 141. He, was, he loved it more than Al ever did. <laughs> Look out. Good luck. Post-race sales, day one. Look at G-Hall. That's G-Hall brushing us. Brushing us. In a Merc. Day two, Wrath Magics. Uh, we're back at the Shop Hotel. We're not staying here, but we're just parking here. Uh, bought three horses today. Um, one was actually a year ago, Magic Millions, and two were an English Digital horses. Yeah, the two horses coming to Queensland of English Digital, uh, True Patriot. Who's tried like a bomb over 800 and a thousand, and they've been racing that for 1400 to a mile, so we'll sharpen it up. It'll win two or three here for sure, a bit like Atlantic Way. The other one is a horse called the Red Kite, who actually goes around favourite on Saturday at Murray a, Bridge, at Murray Bridge in a Metro meeting. Um, it's fully sold out though, so you can just back it on Saturday. We're going to let it run there, and then we're going to bring it to Queensland. It's data suggests it's a Saturday Brisbane horse every day of the week, so we're very excited to have him. Uh, and then Jack, who fell in love with Cliff's Edge as a racehorse, decided to go into a yearling by Cliff's Edge, the only one in book one at the sale. We spent we spent half a day or all the day underbidding on horses again, 150, goes to 450. Uh, but we bought a horse in partnership with Matty Raymond. That's a and the breeder um, and, the, and breeder. the breeder. John Foot bought it. Uh, we just jumped in because I love Cliff's Edge. I ticked all the boxes on the stuff we're using very well. It's a half to uh, very good horse show. It's a very good horse of see you um, in heaven. See you in heaven at Jolly's. Who's <laughs> a multiple stakes winner and was a bit stiff not to be a three time. I think it was Mel Melbourne Cup Day maybe. It was a bit stiff. Anyway, very nice horse. It's a divine profit, so not a commercial like massive, you know, big name stallion. Uh, John Foote said um, in his assessment of the horse, if this horse was by a bigger name stallion, He'd be a five hundred thousand dollar horse on type and on his walk, and um, you know we paid less than half of that, so we're really happy to be involved with the horse. If you want to get involved, Jono J O N O at the mailbag.com. That are you? If you don't, then just keep paying the shipness. And if you're watching this and if you're a participant, Shane, engage with the content. Yeah, love, it's great to get feedback from breeders and owners. Um, it was also funny to see Jack go and bid one hundred fifty thousand on a horse that John O'Neill paid four hundred and seventy for. That was my highlight of day two. I'm going to go and bid 150 on this. I love it. <laughs> Honestly. Anyway, so after it went through and John O'Neill brought it, we actually went up to John and tried to get a slice off him, but he sort of... He laughed. Yeah, he had a bit of a giggle. But uh, anyway, great day. Looking forward to my complete us and ourselves underbidding on everything tomorrow, day three. Yeah. Have a, have a phenomenal night wherever you are and bye for now. Here for day three of the Magic Million sales. Very exciting day. Hopefully we can have a day like yesterday, Jack. Very successful. We got Cliff's Edge with Matty Raymond. See some blur in me here. Cliff's Edge, Matty Raymond, all done, all sold. So we need to find another one. Um, if you want to get involved, J-O-N-O -O at the mailbag the convert at you. If you want to just walk around with us. We're here at the unbelievable hospitality, which is not surprising that you for us. Yeah, Arrowfield stud yeah. yeah. And is this kind of like an audition for Gavin or the other chap? Yeah, what about Kirby though? We've left Kirby out. Where's he coming? I don't coming? know where he is. You said he's playing golf, but is he is he actually in bed though? He's probably still in bed. He's an awful golfer. Does he play golf? No. Not at all. What's been your favourite thing at sales so far? I think just seeing just anyone who's anyone in racing here, it's the best way to just go up and talk to everyone and just everyone just so down to earth and very patient. What's your plan for the race day? Race day? Uh, I will be director's lounge, mounting yard, basically wherever I want to go. I've got it all. I've got it all. I've got everything. Nice to meet you. It's not about being Don't forget about people like us. No, it's about being passionate. You guys do a very good job, so I do follow you. What do you think about Gab's like, progression as a on-air talent for Malbec Bus Stop? Um, just a couple of away from the first meet. I, I must say, um, I must say, no, I, I think he's doing a great job. A hey, Sky Racing employer. <laughs> Gab, you're you don't need any plugs. No, great day here. 
than I did yesterday and the day before operating next to Shane Felio. Kind of just that makes you feel good. That makes you feel a little bit self-conscious. So um, looking forward to powering around now the rest of the day. Fueled up but not too bad. We've Anything had else? a successful day already. Yeah, we've had we've a good look at, at a few horses, which is nice. Gab knows everyone on the lot. Someone has to. More importantly though, have you tried the ice cream scene? What? I got golden gay time. Oh, Jack will have a couple of those. Yep. That'll bite me up, but I'll give it much. <laughs> right, uh, you are joking. Little slice of every pie. I'll regret this, but I'm going to do it. This is amazing. Jack's full after taking out everything on the menu at Arrowfield, including a gay time. Amazing. Never disappoints a gay time, and I thought I should refuel because I put in such a big workout this morning. Um, just here with another athlete talking training and shit like that, Darcy Gardner. Three sets of 15 push ups. No, I didn't know it was a three set, so I do 15 push ups, uh, 15 like crunchy things, then I do uh, 10 tricep push ups, then I do 10 like rows with my legs, yeah. and then I drop down to 10, yeah. 8. Five and then five. Last set was fives, and I'm sore, and now I feel fat and bloated. What do you think of that, Rachel? It's a good, good starting point. Um, I reckon I can with you right there. Do you reckon I could like cut it at the line? <laughs> Give me a couple of hunts, maybe. I can get you, <laughs> get you up to scratch. It's brekkie with me tomorrow morning. Fruit only. <laughs> what is it, day? Thursday. <laughs> Jackson, racing bloodstock manager for this clown and these two clowns together. I'm pretty sure that we're related. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't put a pass out. Yeah. We're, the, we're both good looking, both similar height. How are you feeling? Got great hair. Sales, sales outstanding. You've been, you've been betting up. I'm exhausted. Uh, been a long, long ten days, on and off the field. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More to come though. More to come. We bought a couple of nice ones today, so. Shares available? Shares always available. How do they get in touch? Uh, that right there. Tell Jackson at simonzara.com. Uh, and your number? 0437 127 And that's for the girls as well. <laughs> Shane, anything like that? Um, I can't help you with horses or girls. Sorry, mate. <laughs> uh, day... Day three, of the sale. day three of the sale. Um, so far, no chocolates for us today. Uh, Shane played golf this morning, as you can tell from his look how red, red his beak is. Um, but he's been up and about since he got here. I look like an lift. exotic parrot. <laughs> I tell you what, though, it's been a great day. Has it? For a few reasons. Number one, I spent the morning without Jack playing golf. <laughs> and then I got to the sales and I talked him out of buying three terrible horses. So if he hasn't brought a bad horse. So we haven't brought a horse, which is a massive win. Bought, bought, purchased, bought, not brought, bought. Um, it's so yeah. out of bought number plates. <laughs> Shane's uh, very excited because there's a function on tonight, which he can sort of dominate. He thinks um, he's certainly been more focused this afternoon on on the function. What are your mm. plans for the function tonight? Mm. And I look forward to the What's video that? tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning as he fronts up and backs up. We're going to be, uh, the book two horses come on, on site, Shane, tomorrow midday. I can't remember the name of the uh, Aussie, iconic Aussie art artist. Was it Mike Williamson or something? The guitarist? What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> um, Sung True Blue. Hey, True, True Blue. Yeah, that bloke. What's his name? John Williamson. John Williamson. Is it me? When you asked me if I was excited about the function tonight, all I could think of was John Williamson saying, rip, rip, wood, chip. That's what I'm going to do tonight. <laughs> rip right in. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be a bigger pest than that bloke that ran on the fucking field when the Socceroos were playing around for the World Cup qualifier and cut the rope, cut the <laughs> net off the goals. And then the same bloke that ran on the track when the Melbourne Grand Prix was on. He was a pest. I'm going to one-up him tonight. 
I'm going to make sure that I never get invited to the Betfair function ever again after tonight. Anyway, we're going to keep working. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the book two horses in detail. There's a bunch of them on our shortlist from Racing Squared's uh, database. But, but if you're planning on coming in to look at those horses with us, don't, don't come, come before mid midday. Yeah. Not because we're going to be hungover, but because the horses will not be able to parade before midday. So it's a great night to rip in, Yeah. sleep until 10, have a swim, have a feed, come to the Magic Million sales and buy a horse with us for book two. Jono, J-O-N-O, at themailbag.com.au if you are interested. Bye for now. Oh, yeah, here he is. How hard is oh, he? Oh, oh. Bookie Wars, your swift bet, jump, and Shane Snick and Towser are already jumping over him. Yeah, yeah no. Juppies fucking eating Parma Jamas, I'm knocking off fucking merchandise. <laughs> <laughs>
Race nine, I think it's number ten. Yeah. British Columbia, hard to beat. I think now, it wins. I'm backing it. This I'm is back. almost like a, a disclaimer slash warning that we're both going to Kieran Ma Racing's cocktail party tonight. So if you don't hear from us tomorrow, blame Kieran. Dial triple zero. Blame Mikey. The, the um, heart and soul of the operation. Yeah, so I think after tonight, there's a fair chance that our relationship with the Kirima Stable could be in jeopardy. Yeah, it's, big chance. It's a chance, it's certainly a chance. A chance. And uh, but to be serious for a second, we've done a stack of work this afternoon looking at horses from the book two catalog. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow to do a heap of work. Um, Shane will be operating, uh, promoting, promoting the brand, and. Um, then Sunday we'll do it again and Game we'll, time. We'll, we'll, we'll clarify that list down to a very small number and we'll put numbers on it. If you want to be involved in that process and you want to come and look at them on Sunday, J-O-N-O at themailbag.com.au. Uh, outside of that, I hope you have a phenomenal weekend. Let's hope Kiramar wins the first at Flemington. And Gary let's hope wins the last. And let's hope, wins the two-year-old race. And let's hope we drink 12 months worth of training fees of Kieran's drinks tonight. <laughs> All the best, funners. <laughs> Bass it out. Update, just, a, just an update on day four update. We're, we're looking for a cult tomorrow. Because yeah. Al, the great man, doesn't buy fillies. But we're looking for a cult. We might be going third. So if you're a trainer out there and you're watching, which we know you are, and you don't engage in the content, but you want it, you could, you could you could train a horse with four of the most famous people on Twitter. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's 100%. So if you want to get involved in the mailbag, <laughs> Alligator Blood Syndicate, <laughs> get get in touch. Have a phenomenal night. Anything else to say? No, 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 not at all. No, it's not been, singing anything. I've been talking all day. I can't hardly talk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a bit hard for you. Up <laughs> yeah, a bit seedy. Oh, yeah. me too. Let's yeah. do it again tonight. <laughs> Bye for now. Good. Nose is still red. At least if I do my ass on the punt this year, I'll be able to take Rudolph's job pulling that sleigh in December next year with this big red nose. <laughs> G'day guys, day six. Is it day six? Day six. What's well, day six of the sale? Yep. <laughs> We're still going. Day day uh, session one of book two. And um, <laughs> I'm fresh off. Complete <laughs> annihilation of the Wolf Den yesterday for Betfair. Well, probably a holiday. It'll be hard to top this year, won't it? It's going to be a big year for content if this is the standard that we've set for the year. <laughs> Crikey's. Uh, there's a lot, we had a lot of work to do today, so I was sort of like went in with the plan yesterday of obliterating myself before midnight so I'd get plenty of sleep. So Yeah, no, we're fresh. We are really fresh, yeah. especially compared to what we did to ourselves last year. Oh, for sure. Been socialising and been drinking, but um, been keeping it pretty PG and getting enough yeah. sleep. So we're here early. It's Sunday. We are going to get through a list, which I it's not, I went through yeah. a heap of them yesterday. I came by myself yesterday and did a stack of horses, went through the whole lot, and now I've got like about a list of about 25 that Shane and I are going to go through again. And then we might try and buy one this afternoon, Shane. Yeah, we'll definitely try, um, for sure. Don't know whether we'll be strong enough. Who knows? Who knows? But... Um, one thing is true is you can email Jono, J O N O, at themailbag.com.au to get into the winner that will be born in the next two days. That is gospel. Will, will we be winning today with Major L? Uh, it's got a sticky sticky little map, but we're going to trust Jag to get the job done. Uh, it's the best horse in the race. So it it's is. the deserved favourite. Favourite? It's 260. Oh, yeah. um, that's sort of about the 250 quote I marked it. So a little bit of uh, luck in running early from Jag in the first furlong. and. It'll be very hard to hold out. Have a phenomenal day, guys. And if you if you, you want to, come out and, and give Shane a ring and uh, you can tag us along and you can come and look at some horses with us. We can enjoy nice, pure water together because that's about all I can handle today. <laughs> Bye for now. Partners, day six wrap. Uh, we have struck, finally. Um, paid just under 40 grand for a really nice um, pariah. Philly, lot two, lot ten, five nine, Vobus uh, bought with Gavin, Bedgegood uh, heads to Gavin's at Cranburn. Um, I thought she was an, an amazing, like an, a proper proper Panther Walker, and she rated nice and high, big numbers on uh, Racing Squared pedigree stuff. So uh, it's taken us a fair while. It's been a grind, but we struck sort of gold, I think, Shane. Yeah, it's a uh, Super Vobus qualified as well. So um, 
an obvious fit for a Victorian trainer. Um, the rest of the day was basically spent preparing for tomorrow. We've got uh, four or five horses on the list that are cutest bred horses for Queensland. So, um, <laughs> what else was the rest of the day involved? What did Oh, uh, well, anyone that Basically watched... Basically, what happened was... Anyone that watched the video this morning... <laughs> he had an emergency. Two. The first one, I think, caused the second one. The, quick, he just, the quickest I've ever seen him move. <laughs> he went to the toilet. <laughs> and it was pretty hot in there. Yeah, I've just... Yeah. <laughs> it got a bit hot. I was going to be hot under the collar. Start of my head start felt like it was going to catch on fire. <laughs> then so he sat I, down and have lunch. I've raced into the raced into the lunch room there to get some ice and a cold drink and something to eat, and then I've started having a brain hemorrhage <laughs> at my <me> nostril. <laughs> While Major L was getting loaded into the gates, so I couldn't sit up and watch my own horse run. So I'm sitting there, George. With ice on my face and tissue stuffed up my nose, trying to stop it bleeding. While Major L wins. Uh, 260 at the five dollars ten BSP. Um, it was a debacle of a half an hour, really. Had the smallest half an hour, about three hours. Had the smallest bit of me life on it too, which annoyed me as well. Um, trying day, uh, but we weren't really. We didn't have a lot like on the purchasing list today. Anyway, there was probably we three had, horses. We had three horses, and two of them went for enormous money. So. Is what it is. I'm happy. You happy? Yeah, couldn't be happier. Looking I've, forward to swimming the beach. You haven't been in the ocean so far since you got here, you reckon? I've gone from the sales site to my shower to a function every night for the last six nights. Um, and then I'm going to spend a heap of money tomorrow. So yeah. it's going to be going to be good. Quite night tonight. J-O-N-O, Jono at themailbag.com.au if you want to find out more about our filly that just joined the stable. The Cliff's Edge Colt sold out pretty quick. So if you are interested, please get in touch ASAP. Uh, we'll be back for we'll be back for like our final day tomorrow, Shane. Can't wait. Right, honestly. It's absolutely pissing down, Shane. It is. We're in a horse store. It's it's wet. We get a box. It's so wet. Uber driver come in the wrong gate for me this morning. I had to go. I had to wade through a river to get in here. My socks and shoes are saturated. It's so wet. We just inhaled a like a surf and turf I had, record. I pace. had steak and prawns for lunch, courtesy of Magic Millions. Our friends at Magic Millions. No sweet today. No sweets. You're all, but you're back. Yeah. Good luck to Navesh. He was on SEN this morning saying how the weather was fine all week and they're going to have an improving track for Thursday. Holy shit! It has not stopped pissing rain since he said that. Poor bastard. Um. Apart from that, we've been smoked out by a couple of other Sydney carters on some horses that, that we half liked. <laughs> so it's about midday here on um, Monday. We've had a crack at a couple, uh, underbid on every one of them. Uh, we've got about six left that we like, enough to bid on. Yeah. And we've got numbers that we're going to stick to, and if we get one, we get one, and if we don't, we don't. So. Jack was an underbidder on a horse when I wasn't in the room. I went out to have a look at him, and he sat at the table and bid on something. He come out and goes, oh, I was the underbidder on that. Oh, I just love bidding. Had a look at my notes. I wrote, weak, no. So we're going well. We're working well together. It's been a good week. We've done all right. Oh, thank God that we uh, brought those couple of online, eh? Earlier. Just to get our numbers up. We've got a couple going to Victoria. We'll be okay. Oh, shut up. Oi. Holy fuck. Whoa, mate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck. Day seven, wrap. Um, saw a couple go through, but we're not gonna be on any of them. We've got one today with uh, Curry Racing. Lot 1163, uh, a cracking, cracking type of horse. Who The mum's already done a job and throws winners and done a job, been here for seven days. <laughs> done a job. Jack, you said cracking type three times about the same horse. Nah, it's a proper, it's a proper type of horse. Um, yeah, and she's thrown winners from like massively inferior size. So, um, and last year her foal, her yearling sold for 180 or something. So oh, sidestep. Yeah, so we we paid 80. There'll be, you know, GST etc. and add-ons on that. But we're really, 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 really happy with that, Shane. You did a lot of work, not just at this sale, but earlier with this horse. Yeah, saw her on farm. Uh, back in earlier December um, and I made some, some positive notes about her body and the length of ground that she covers that she stands over thought she was a nice type uh, and then obviously there's been a 
a little upgrade in the pedigree since the book was printed with uh, one of those golden archer horses. Uh, that, yeah, golden archer, I know, hard to believe. Um, it was a Hong, recent Hong Kong winner. So um, she's produced two, two from two. Look, we, and obviously, you know, we, we talk a lot about type and why we buy horses on their walk and that sort of stuff. And we just thought she was an outstanding type for that money. We've watched a lot of nice horses go through to make <laughs> a lot more and just really happy to get our hands on one that's, that, that we believe is value. Oh, we know the mum throws winners, Shane. That's true. So uh, we also... Favourite. You know, also, as you know, you know they race for 80 something, 85,000 for fillies, cutest fillies in Queensland on Saturday metros, and even low joints like Toowoomba and Dolby, and that, you know, they're $30,000 to the winner. So, um, you know, she, I think she's a horse that will get uh, 14, 1,600 uh, in time, but um, she also goes back to the farm that we brought her off, and they'll break her in straight away. So she's like, she's, she's first nice, on the list. She's, she's nice ready to and go. Like, low risk, really clean on, on, on vet, so they're happy to sort of get straight into her, which is a really good positive sign for us. Um, yeah. Enough about the Philly. J O N O, John O at the mailbag if you're interested. Uh, Shane, highlights from the week? It's not over yet. I've got Jerry Harvey bent over a barrel about a horse that we like on top as well. I'm trying to get him to give it to us for nothing and let us do our best. Stay tuned on that one. That could be, that could trump everything. The highlight was Jack Dickens walking out of the sales on Thursday night. Had about 16 beers after the last lot went through in about 45 minutes. He walked out, he ran into Alan Endres, he put his arm around him and said, G'day guys, announcing the mailbag Bloodstock Alligator Blood Sydney kit. That was a highlight. We've got to find a cult for him. Oh, I've got this one with Jerry. Plenty more sales as well. Yeah, um, it's been a great week. You've behaved yourself really well. Proud of you. I'm impressed by your effort. You've been huge this week, on and off the. I've got complex. so many stories to tell about Jack and the shit that he said at some of these functions. I'm just going to hold it and slowly feed it out. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> J O N O, Jono at themailbag.com.au. If you want to race one with us, walking out.